guys, it's Tyler here again. Gonna go down my week two NFL predictions here. Uh, I'm gonna look to build off last week. I ended up 9-7, and seven, I believe, which isn't the greatest. A lot of the games I had going looked really good at first, such as Detroit hopped up to a 21-3 lead against San Diego, so that was looking great. Baltimore had the lead late in the fourth quarter, so I lost a few games that I probably could have had, and I think the worst one I had was I took the Buccaneers to win, which not going to pick the Buccaneers for a while, I don't think. That was a really rough game against the Titans. I did not see that coming. But um, I'm going to go down week two. I'm going to try to make the video a little bit quicker than last week. Um, so here we go. We're going to start with tomorrow night's game, which is Denver. They are playing at Kansas City. This one is a really tough game for me. Uh, Peyton Manning and the offense really struggled against Baltimore. Uh, I... The Chiefs have a great defense. I look to, for them to struggle again. Kansas City is one of the toughest places to play in. Alex Smith played a really good game. Travis Kelsey's playing out of his mind, and like I mentioned, that defense is good. So I think I'm going to take Kansas City here to go 2-0. and They looked really good last week, so it's hard not to pick them again. Um, next up is Houston at Carolina. Uh, this is a tough one to pick. Ryan Mallett's getting the start for the Texans, which I think Ryan Mallett's the better choice to start at quarterback than Brian Hoyer, in my opinion. Uh, Brian Hoyer really struggled last week, and Mallett looked good late in the game. I am going to go with, hmm, I'm going to go with Carolina on this one just solely because they're at home, and I don't know. I guess it'll ride a lot on if Luke Keekley can play or not. But um, I'm going to go with Carolina getting the win at home. Up next we have San Francisco at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh with a tough loss to New England last night, or last week in the Thursday opener against, uh, did I say New England? Sorry. Um, and San Francisco with a surprising win to me against the Vikings. I'm starting to think a lot of people might have overrated the Vikings a little bit. They did not look very impressive at all in San Francisco and Colin Kaepernick. They actually surprised me. They looked halfway decent. So Pittsburgh, I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them to get the win. They're at, they're the home team, and they don't want to start 0-2. Yeah, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. Next up, we have Tampa Bay at New Orleans. I looked for New Orleans to get back on track after the loss to the Cardinals last week. Tampa Bay is just not impressive to me at all. Uh... Winston, I think he will improve a bit off of his performance last week, but I'm going to go with New Orleans getting this one. Next up, we have Detroit against Minnesota. This game, being a Packer fan, is huge because it's going to drop one of these teams to 0-2. Both of them came into the season with playoff aspirations. Going 0-2 is really going to be tough to get out of. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Detroit on the road. Uh, Detroit looked pretty good to start the game against San Diego, and then things kind of fell apart from there. Minnesota just did not look good that whole game against San Francisco. So I'm going to go with uh, Detroit. To, I don't know if it would be considered an upset or not, but they're going to knock off the Vikings at home. Next up, Arizona at Chicago. Uh, Chicago did give the Packers a bit of a run for their money last week. I was impressed with the way Jay Cutler played. He played better than he had in the past against us. Um, and Matt Forte just gashed the defense, ran for, I think, 140-some yards. I'm going to go with Arizona on the road to get this one. I think Arizona is the better team overall right now. Like I said, they were my pick to win the NFC West this year, so I'm going to go with Arizona. Sorry I keep looking over again. I got the sheet here with me. Um, New England at Buffalo. This one is another tough one. It's hard to pick against Tom Brady. But Buffalo surprised me last week. Um, I did not think that Tyrod Taylor was a starting quarterback in the NFL, and he played a pretty dang good game. And Buffalo has an amazing defense. They're going to surprise a lot of people this year, I think. I'm going to go with Buffalo at home. That's another really tough place to play. I'm going to go with Buffalo getting the upset over New England. Next up, San Diego at Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati looked really, really good against a not very good Raider team in Oakland. Cincinnati got the win big. 
San Diego won late against Detroit after being down big to start the game. Um, I'm going to go with San Diego and Phillip Rivers to take this game on the road. I know I have to pick a couple road games, so that's one of them. It could go either way. That's one of those toss-ups, but I'm going to go San Diego over Cincinnati. Up next, Tennessee at Cleveland. Manziel's getting the start against the Titans. He looked, I don't know, Manziel is Manziel. Mariota, on the other hand, looked awesome last week. He looked like he knew what he was doing. They helped, they changed the offensive scheme a little bit to match Oregon's, and I think that played into his hand well, and he played a dang good game. I'm going to go with Tennessee on the road to beat Cleveland. Um, next up, Atlanta at the New York Giants. Atlanta played... They shocked me. This was probably one of the more shocking wins because I just did not see Atlanta getting this win. Matt Ryan came out and played great, and I don't know if anybody can stop Julio Jones. Uh, the Giants, everyone knows how they ended up against the uh, against the Cowboys at the end of that game. I'm, the Giants are in shambles, and I think it's going to continue for them. Uh, I'm going to go with Atlanta on the road to be the surprise 2-0 team. Next up, St. Louis at Washington. St. Louis, great, great game last week, beating the uh, Seahawks. Going to go with St. Louis in this one. Next up, Miami at Jacksonville. Jacksonville, I thought, could be an improved team this year. But they were at home last week, scored nine points. Um, I could see them possibly getting a surprising win here. But I'm going to go with Miami. And I'm sorry again, guys, I apologize. I keep looking at my sheet, but... I'm still getting used to this, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, next up, we got Baltimore at Oakland. Oakland and Baltimore are both 0-1 to start the year. Uh, Baltimore losing Terrell Suggs for the year. That's going to hurt them on the defensive side. They just signed Jason Babin, I believe, to be his replacement for the year, which, pretty decent signing. I expect Baltimore to win this game. Oakland... They still look like they got a ways to go before they're a competitive team in this league, so I'm going to go with Baltimore. Next up, big game, Dallas at Philadelphia. Um, Dallas snuck out a win they probably shouldn't have gotten last week against the Giants. Uh, all credit to Tony Romer and those guys for making the drive and winning the game. They're without Des Bryant for, they say, four to eight weeks I don't know exactly how long he'll be gone. Nobody seems to know, really. But regardless, and the Eagles lost a shocking game to the Falcons. And Chip Kelly, I'm not his biggest fan. They just looked confused. They didn't really... The defense looked overrated. They looked like such a good team in the preseason, but I guess that's why it's the preseason. Um, I am going to take Philadelphia. I really want to see Dallas win this game, but I am going to take the Eagles to win at home and not further slip down into mediocrity, I'm going to go with Philadelphia. Next up, the big Sunday night game. Um, being a Packer fan, looking forward to this one a lot. We haven't had the best luck against Seattle lately. Um, stemming back from the fail Mary, which that's in the past. I don't want to bring it up. But um, last year, the big lead in the NFC Championship game, Losing it with just terrible defense at the end of the game, the onside kick that everybody knows about, and then more bad defense to end it. Uh, all credit to Seattle. They played a great game. But all those losses came in Seattle. It's a different story Sunday night. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers, without Cam Chancellor in that defense, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to find a way to keep his interceptions at zero in Lambeau Field for the last, I don't know, a couple years. I think they finally open it up and throw against the Seahawks a little bit successfully, um, and I think they're able to run it out late with Lacey. I'm expecting this game to be a hard-fought win. Seattle's a great team still, even with the loss to St. Louis. I expect this to possibly be an NFC Championship rematch down the road, but Seattle has a really tough schedule, and if they lose this one, they're 0-2, so who knows, but... I'm going to go with Green Bay winning this one close. I'm going to say probably 28-24 to because it's not going to be the most high scoring. But I'm going to say Green Bay gets a big win to go to 2-0 and and send Seattle to 0-2. to Last but not least, we have the Monday night game. 
the giant the excuse me the New York Jets are playing at the Colts. Boy, last week if I would have looked at this game, it would have been two opposite teams. I would have thought the Colts would have been going in great. The Jets would have looked not great. I was wrong. The Jets looked phenomenal in their Week One, thirty-one to ten, I believe they won. Just that defense looks amazing. Uh, Fitzpatrick is a game manager. He does what he does. They got a big win, and the Colts just didn't have an answer to Buffalo. They, I, I don't know what to say about them, but I do expect them to get the win, to get to 1-1. One and one. I don't expect the Colts to go 0-2. They are too good of a team. Uh, the Jets, very good team. They could make a run at a wild card this year, but as far as it goes in this week, Monday Night Football, Indianapolis, Indianapolis, I'm going to go with the home team. I'm going to go with the Colts to get back on the right track and go 1-1. One and one. So, let's see how I do this week. Like I said, I think I was 9-7 and seven last week. Let's see if I can improve on that. Um, anybody who watches this, like it, comment, subscribe to me. I'm trying to build this channel. I hope you guys like this. I like talking about it. Um, let me know what your predictions are, what your picks are, and I will comment back. I like talking back and forth about football, anything. Uh, so, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.